this is the fake. You know, India has been through so much in the last 20 years. And yet the fake that remains intact. And how you've used multiple different learnings from technology. I see this, you know, tickets of, you know, so that the time taken is 28 minutes. I see the safety procedures in place. I mean, there is, and, and the cleanliness is talking, you know, compared to many other places one has visited, whether it's in Kashi or uh, other religious places. So question to you is, A, uh, in your opinion, and I know it's very difficult to be probably objective about it where you sit, but what is this faith? And why millions and millions of people uh, continue to have this faith in our nation? Um, and what more can we do with that faith? in terms of, you know, allowing this grace to take place. And what has been your different learning, including, you know, the, the GI that you have for the Laddu, which I think is phenomenal. So these were the three questions I had. Basically about faith, because he is considered as uh, like Rama, Krishna, in different yug, what you, what you call in India, I don't know. Yes. But uh, for Kali Yug, uh, people consider uh, Lord Venkateshwara as avatar. That's how all mythology is built up. Uh, so all mythology indicates uh, same thing. Other uh, gods they were born in their avatars, whereas uh, he had come down from uh, heavens. So as you know, the script of the mythology is extremely strong. So it befits uh, that it must be true. If other things were true, this must be true. So naturally this is being considered as a Kali Yuga avatar. Naturally this is much more profound than any other god or goddesses in any other form that is available in India. Number two, as you see the effect of uh, it per se, you see it has some greatest uh, peculiarities. Number one, as far as the Indian context is concerned, it was never invaded by any Muslim rule. So no temple is spared by a Muslim ruler. But this is the only temple where history clearly mentions that uh, no Muslim ever dared to uh, come here and do some kind of damage. So that means there is something that there is something there should be extra or logical. There should be something extra which have protected this place in the eyes of Muslim rulers. In fact, this has provided shelter to Sri Lanka, which is near Trichy, that is Trichuraapalli uh, in Tamil Nadu, Sri Lankan temple is there. So there uh, the Ushava Murtis, that is processional deities of that Lord, is kept here for 30 long years to protect from the uh, rights of Malik Kapoor. So it, 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 it is single factor signifies that people have reason to believe that it is something uh, different. Number three, as per uh, mythology also, he had taken some loan from Lord Kubera for his marriage. He is able to only repay the interest that the principal remained. So that uh, exactly suits, so naturally growing interest over a period of time. And then uh, inability to pay principle is compensated by people. It's a belief that one should contribute uh, offerings in terms of money to this guy. That is going on. So in fact, there were instances in history where rulers of this area, descendants of uh, Vijayanagara kingdom, they have taken out gold, whatever devotees have offered, or the kings themselves have offered before, and they have taken out that and used for running their administration. That was the wealth. So we have moved from mythology to history. So these historical facts, they are all available. So that is the strength, which is indicated in one sense with the wealth, which have been continuously growing for centuries. So that marks uh, this temple different. Apart from its location, location is on a uh, hill, though uh, NRSA standards doesn't recognize this as a hill, they consider it as a plateau only because it is at 1300 uh, meters or 1300 feet. Uh, 1800 no, no, meters? Uh, 323 meters. Yeah. So it comes to some. Uh, uh, and then the correction is 900 meters. 900 meters. So 900 meters height they don't consider. 
under the shape and the plateau available at 900 meters level, they don't recognize, they don't classify it as a hill. Mm. So that is the beauty. It is a hill for all practical purposes. It has a plateau. So this is uh, technically owned by Tumla Tripati Devasthams. So the beauty of the whole scheme, starting from original mythology to Hindu rulers, then this place was also under Muslim rule, Muslim rule, then British rule. Everybody recognized the significance and the, the greatness of this deity. So all the paradigm of administration was built around respecting the uh, sentiments prevailing at that point of time. Like British, they constructed their collector's office where our my office is located now, which is at that time, which was at that time far off distance from the temple and located in the jungle. So being a non-Hindu, that time collectors and the superintendent of police. So they were ruling this place, they were administering the temple, but they are not supposed to go to the temple. So that custom was respected even then, was built in. So somehow um, it is like a the best organized uh, corporate uh, you know, body in various forms starting from mythology to Hindu rulers to Muslim rulers to British to um, then there was a, one Hathi Ramji Mutt who was believed to have played dice with Lord Venteshwara Baladi so the, his written, the descendants were given the administration of the temple only in 1932 so Thirumala Thirupati board is constituted by the, the then Madras legislature so Madras government. So then it has become part of Andhra Pradesh government. Now it would become the residual Andhra Pradesh government from June 2nd. But the point here is everywhere uh, the faith continue. So people would have benefited by visiting this place, you know, in, you know, getting their woes um, fulfilled, their desires fulfilled. And there was there, there is a real cyclical movement one can see, one comes seeking a desire, once it, once it gets fulfilled, again he makes a visit. So the cyclical behavior we can see very much uh, in Tirumala. Apart from that, the, the, the greatest uh, grandeur of the deity per se is that you cannot remember the details of the deity fully at any point of time. I stand for one hour there every day, almost I am completing 800, 850 days. Even if I take my leave down on a day, I am there. Seven hundred hours I would have uh, been before the deity, but I cannot remember uh, the details of the deity. Even those two pictures, they are, they are uh, artistic pictures, not photographs taken of the deity. For an artist of that caliber, he was allowed to sit before the deity for hundred man hours. Hmm. Historical history allowed him to sit before the deity, where I sit now, where we stand for Bharati. So he sat there for hundred man hours. Then he could draw, which is almost correct, but not fully correct. Mm. So this is the, you know, you, you, whatever may be the angle, whether you want scientific angle, whether you see belief, whether you see the administrative part of it, everywhere there is some kind of correlation where this shall be the place where God resides profoundly. Everywhere God resides, but here is a place where we feel the presence of God. So that is the reason, and apart from logical reasons of improved facilities of transport, improved facilities of staying, and the increased uh, capacities of uh, people at large. So it is drawing people to Tirupati, unlike earlier times where they have to struggle to reach Tirupati and then climb up to Tirumala. So facilities are also one of the basic uh, factors. Administrative part of the whole uh, uh, system is everybody tries to improve here, be the lowest employee to the highest employee, whether he is a priest, whether he is an attender, whether he um, uh, carries whom you have seen, everybody is equally devoted to the basic cause uh, of you know, the whole chain. So their competencies may differ, their, uh, their you know, uh, capabilities their domain, all that may differ, but the common thread is the, the devotion, that, uh, with, uh, what kind of steadfastness they are devoted to their task. And that is what uh, stuns even the administrators like us who come from outside and administer for a couple of years and then leave. Mm -hmm. So this is the beauty of the temple. 
and the Britishers were wise enough uh, not to interfere in the administration of the Hindu temple of this nature, number one. Number two, in settling many disputes among the priest communities in Tirumala. So no, no dispute is settled post-independence. Every dispute was settled by an order of a private council of the then uh, royal empire. So it had settled so many issues, including the Ram, which you see mm -hmm. here. So this is a dispute, whether it should be U or V. One sect follows U, another sect follows V. Two sects of priests, they do uh, Vaishnavites, both are Vaishnavites. But two different sects with U and V. So British Privy Council resolved what should be on the deity. It is neither U nor V, you can see. It is neither, from U it moves towards V, but it is not V. Which year did it take? Uh, that uh, case is uh, 1876, mm -hmm. something. But order is also available. Mm -hmm. So, likewise, they have defined the duties of the priest community. So, what would have driven them to focus so much on a Hindu temple during their rule? And there is no instance of you know, taking away money from um, this temple. Mm -hmm. So, no recorded evidence. So, people offered money, gold. Mm -hmm ornaments. So innumerable uh, gifts have been received by the deity. Why people would give? So at a materialistic level, they would have been benefited. That means they are feeling the presence of God when they visit and they go back. And again it makes them revisit again. So this is the beauty. Administration side, unlike other temples, which are located amongst uh, populated uh, areas, amongst private properties, this hill is exclusively the property of Pratimatyagod Devastans as decided by the British rulers then. So naturally everybody uh, over uh, nearly 200 years they had developed vested interest here in establishing residences, hotels, <coughs> uh, shops, everything. But everything is settled now, everybody is sent out. So entire property is again taken over by a TTD some 10 years before that process was complete. So now again you can see that every inch is under the administrative control of TTD. So it is easy to plan, it is easy to develop. So it gives a lot of convenience. They wish to take uh, the temple of Shirdi. They, they can do something, they can do some more items, but they cannot do whatever they want. Because Shirdi is not uh, the property of uh, Shirdi Samstam. But whereas Thirumala is the property of uh, TTD. Which the, which the present Indian constitution or the uh, consequent governments have bestowed, which was bestowed by the British government, mm -hmm. which is the beauty of it.